Hey, I'm Ak. Welcome to my next City Skylines tutorial. Today we take a look at map fillers. Which is the stuff you can fill in all around your city to make it look more alive, realistic and not empty. I'm going to show you a few easy ways to do that. With mods, but also can be adapted for vanilla players. And as always, the mod collection is linked in the description. And if you like what you see, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave me a comment. I always love to read them. So let's get to it. So here's my little example setup. It's this tiny city connected to the outside of the map via this national road and framed with some forest, because I like me some good forest. And outside of that, all the empty grassland that screams at us, build on me, build on me. At least that's what it's doing to me. I don't know about you, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I always like to start out with a gravel path that is supposed to be a dirt track, you know, where the tractors drive on and whatnot, and separate everything into huge chunks. And that leaves us with that. We got all these nice separated fields, some smaller, some bigger. And it adds this interesting shape to it already. So I would say that this would already look 100% better than before. So in the next step, I'm using the same mix as I used for these forests in the forest brush. To add a few more patches in between, which will make it look a tad more interesting. Make sure in the road anarchy you've got the collision on and the tree anarchy off. Now it looks even more believable. And that's all what counts for realism in this game. It needs to look like it's a real place. And now we can actually fill in these fields. So to avoid erosion, we can add some lines of trees around it. And in the middle, leave it the original green, that's totally fine already. And then use the ground resources to fill it in, give it a different color. And there are already three types of fields we can do. Maybe over here, we add some patches of dirt using the ore texture. That could be a field for cows or for sheep or whatever. I got these cow spawners from the workshop. Because if you use the inbuilt ones, they seem to only work when you place them in the map editor. These ones always work. So unpause and there they spawn. 
And another option would be Orchard, using as example the apple tree from the vanilla game. Of course you can use the same method to add some other plantations, like I like to use the rhododendron to add some berry farm or whatever. Just do the same, line per line per line. And if you got the industries DLC. It comes with this hay bale prop, so we could use the prop line tool again and say, okay, over here, that's where the farmer made some bales. Of course, we want to have a bigger distance in between here. And there we go field full of hay bales. As you can see, lakes or ponds can be a nice filler too. I won't show you here how to build it, I have a separate tutorial on natural and realistic lakes, link is in the description. I only showed you a few possible fillers and I encourage you to come up with your own ones. Just be creative, play around, see what comes out. And if you found this tutorial to be helpful and you enjoyed it, please subscribe, leave a like and comment. And if you want to show me what you have built, just join my Discord server and post the screenshots there. I always love to see what you guys come up with. You can also find me on Twitter and on Twitch. All the links are in the description. Thank you all for watching, be creative, until then, have a nice day, bye bye!